Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailer Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit create or update a contact from the project build a simple flow. This is the last unit of this project. Now here we were working on the flow new contact which we created in the first unit and going through each unit we made certain updates and added a new functionality. Now here this is the last unit so we in this unit we will be basically adding the action uh, based on the decision whether we want to create the contact or whether we want to update it. So based on this decision, we are going to perform certain actions in this unit's challenge. So without wasting any time, let's quickly launch our trailer playground, go to your flows and here just open up new contact flow on which we are making the updates. Now here this will open up the flow builder for us. Till now what we were doing is basically we on the screen element, we were fetching all the details, contact name, related account and whether we want to create the account or you, we want to uh, update the existing one. Based on the uh, values that we had provided over there, we were checking whether there is an existing record by the same first name and last name that we are providing in the input name component. And if at all we have found a match based on this, based on this condition, if we found a match and the toggle is true, that means we want to update based on these two conditions, we will perform the update of the record. Otherwise, we are going to go to create a new record. So based on this decision element, we will proceed either of the path. Now, here in this unit, moving on, we have to first of all, go to create new path and create use create records element. There the label we are going to give is create contact. So let's copy this. So this uh, flow will move on this path only when these two conditions which we have specified are not true or either of these two conditions which we are specifying is not true. So in that case, it is going to go to this path and going to create a new. So let's quickly add the element in order to create a new contact. So click on this create records. Provide the label in the label text area. API name will be auto populated. Record, we have to simply select contact variable, record variable that we had. So this is going to create the contact record for us. Click on done. And that's all we had to do over here. Now for the update path, what we have to do is first of all, we have to fetch the ID. Uh, I'm sorry, not fetch. We have to assign the ID. So we are going to use the assignment. Uh, element. So let's go back to our flow builder, click on this plus icon and select assignment logic element over here. The name I'm going to copy it from the challenge set contact ID. Copy this and paste it in the label text area. Remove any extra spaces. API name will be auto populated here variable in the variable uh, sections. Each variable is modified by the operator and value combination. This is uh, just the help test that is mentioned over here. And uh, what we have to do is we have to just assign contact ID equals to find a match contact, uh, find a match ID. So if at all we have found a match that there is already an existing account by the same first name and last name, we are going to fetch that matching uh, contact ID and we are going to assign it to this contact.id. So basically we are just setting the variable over here. So let's go back here, use the contact.id equals to find a match.id. This one we have to select dot id that's all we have to do for the assignment uh this element just click on done once we got an id and we have uh, set the contact id what we have to do is we have to update the record so in order to update the record what we have to do let's first quickly copy this label go back there Click on this plus icon again, and if you scroll down, there is this update records. In the label text area, just paste this. API name will be auto-populated. Record over here, we have to simply select the uh, contact one, because this is the record we want to update. 
and just click on done. So based on the decision, we first uh, got the ID of the matching contact, which we want to update. And based on that, we are assigning the uh, update contact element with the contact that we want to update. That's it. Just click on save. That's all we have to do in this unit. If you want to just debug and run this flow, how it is functioning, what you can do is just click on this debug. Now, once it is loaded, it will ask uh, whether you want to run this uh, flow. So just click on this run button. Now here we are going to provide the details. So let's say, first of all, we test it for creating a new contact. Before that, let's go to app launcher and just open up the contacts from here. Now, right now you can see there in the recently viewed, there is there are no records coming up over here. Let's go back here and add one contact trailhead explanation, let's say, and account. Here you see that all the list of accounts are coming over here. So I'm uh, relating this with associating it with edge communication over here. And I'm keeping this as create other contact. That means it is going to create a new one. So let's click on next. And here you can see that it has created uh, all records are ready to be created when the next screen pause or local executed or when the interview finishes. That means we must have got the record, create contact records using the values stored in the contact variable. So this was the variable in which we were storing all the details, first name, last name, and the contact account ID. So here you can see, and if I'll just go back here on my app launcher and refresh this recently viewed, there you go. This record, which we wanted uh, to uh, create, has been created in the org. And you can see account name is Edge Communication. Let's go back and uh, let's update this only. So here, what we are going to do is we are going to change the name of the account. So let's go back, click on Run again. And here, provide the same name. And account, this time I'm going to change it to Burlington Textiles Corp of America and just toggle this to true as well. So update existing. It is going to update the existing one based on the first name and last name. Just click on next. And you can see over here that first name is trailhead, last name is exp. Account ID, you can see there are two IDs coming up over here. First one is the previous one. And this one is for the new one, which we have added. So let's go back there and see whether this edge communication has been updated. Refresh this. There you go, Burlington Textile Corp of America. It has been updated to this. So our flow is running fine. Let's go back and check whether we can pass this challenge or not. There you go. This unit as well as this module is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you.